that that's done. There's the morning uh, room. Uh, it's in the woods. The foot end is a little higher than the head end. Like you could tell which end is which. But I've proven to like it for the most part. It's comfortable. Alright, I'm going to turn this off and get busy. It's between 6 and 6.30 because I got up at 6. All right, see you later. Evidently this little guy came to visit me this morning. It's a uh, escargot, but I didn't bring any butter, so his life is safe. There he goes, he's moving. Holy shit, they're faster than I am. <laughs> Catch you later, bye-bye. And there is Mr. Rabbit. He didn't like the sound of my camera turning on. He almost ran away. <coughs> I understand that he evidently lives underneath this shelter there. Or at least frequents it for you. There frequently. Hey. Well, I guess that was a quick visit. Peter Cottontail. Okay. I had to get off trail for a little bit because it was time to poop again. It's an antibiotic day that happens. Now I won't show you any of the disgusting parts because that wouldn't be nice. But it's over there in that field somewhere. And it's all buried all properly. It's supposed to go down about six inches and bury everything. But the real point of what I wanted to show you was, okay, you came here. Now, do you see the trail? No. Now, I fell for this a couple times last year and uh, took a little bit to get myself back. Nope, you don't see the trail either, do you? Well, I know exactly where it is. It's beyond that tree and before that tree and be right around the other side of that tree, but only because I know better now and I know to keep track as you're walking. And if that, there are two other methods where a couple people have died going off to take a poop and not being able to find their way back. And I can see how it happens. So if you've got the time, you can take a more leisurely place, pace, get ribbons of, you know, bright color, yellow, red, blue, and tie them on things as you come down. Or even just drop them, you know, like drape them over that branch there, stuff like that. And then pick them up on your way out. Because you're gonna use them over and over again. Or, what I've done a couple times, when I was getting, you know, far enough away where I should be in the concern, is I dropped my trekking poles, and you take the pointy end, and point them towards the trail as you drop them so that you can find your poles. Usually they're a unnatural color for the forest. They don't camouflage well. Or even stand it up if you can poke it into the ground and you'll have the idea of which way to go. All right, that's the lesson for today. And uh, I'll see you later. Oh, today is, shit, I don't know what today is. I have to look, but it's the next day. 
uh, yeah, the last two or three videos were that uh, way. Um, it is Monday, May 30th. So, alrighty. That's what I thought it was, but I didn't want to send you down the wrong path. And next stop should be McAfee's Knob. See you later. Bye-bye. Well, I'm not quick enough with the camera, but I did want to show you what it's like to have a jet fly underneath. <laughs> or about even with you, anyhow. And there's the overview from up here. And that is the airport, I guess, where they fly out of. Which would make sense then. And here's a lot of the countryside of Virginia. And that is McAfee's knob. Yeah, Yeah, it's far enough for me. All oh, right, it's still Monday the 30th, and that says McAfee's Knob 1.5, Tinker Cliff 6.5, I think, and the road I started at, 220, 17 miles. All right, bye-bye. And here was Trail Magic. Do you want to? Sounds like it's uphill. You want to introduce yourselves? Do you want to introduce yourself? Oh, I'm Chrissy. This I'm is Frank. Frank. And we're and we are Fuel Cans parents. Fuel Cans parents. Trying to get yeah. back. <laughs> yeah. And it was a very nice stop here at the end of the day, a surprise. So nice oh. meeting you. <laughs> yeah. Yes, walks with donor. I'm not gonna forget you. I'm remember <laughs> right. that. Your story's awesome. Thank you very much. And here we have a room with a view. Took me a while. But I picked out the, out of the lowest priced three, this was the only one that didn't include crackheads and needles in the room. Matter of fact, it's, so far, it looks fairly nice. So, I think it was five dollars more than the other two. But, with the reviews on the other two, I figured, you know, this one wasn't all positive, but it was not uh, unacceptable. All right, let's see. Wow, three story, good thing I asked for the first level. I mean, I can do the other level. It's not that busy. 
Might as well take a nice low one. Pick a number, any number. I think mine's supposed to be 115. And wow, you talk about nailing it, huh? I'll have to double check before I go up and knock on the door. But if that's it, that is great. And this is the back end, so I do not get a view. But I'll be reminded every morning that there is a view there every morning. Yeah, it's probably going to be one day, maybe two, depending on how I feel in the morning. Mm -hmm.